Well then, ladies and gentlemen, it is a signing today, but not the one I was expecting to announce. I was expecting to do a video on this at some point, but I was expecting Aaron Connolly today. It hasn't happened, so instead I am talking about Henry Sandat, who has signed for the Academy. Uh, this is, from what I hear, a real, real coup for the Academy, because, uh, well... He's meant to be, he's meant to be decent. So Henry is a young striker from Southend, who, because of their financial troubles, has um, not been able to agree a new contract with the club. So has moved on to pastures new. He broke through at Roots Hall, played twelve times for them, I think, at senior level, scored once, and he's a top. He was one of their top top young talents. Uh, flag waving in, right, right in front of my face. Go away. Anyway, he was one of their top young talents, but because of their financial issues, which means that they currently cannot sell the club, which means they cannot currently sign players because they're under a transfer embargo and their owner has yet to sell the club. Uh, something like that. It's it's a real mess down at South End. Lots of off-field issues. They haven't been able to sign anyone new or offer any current players new deals. And, yeah, the club still hasn't been sold. So, Henry Sandat is one of the players that has fallen by the wayside. First of all, we're going to read Southend's statement, which came out uh, on... Uh, when was it? It was Saturday evening when this news was first reported, uh, where their statement read, Henry Sandat has left the club to pursue a new challenge. The 18-year-old striker is a fantastic talent and great young pro who has progressed through our academy into the first team. He made his professional debut as a substitute away up to Aldershot Town and went on to score at Roots Hall against Gateshead five minutes into his first senior start. Unfortunately, we were unable to agree personal terms with Henry and we are disappointed that he has chosen to leave us. We wish him well as he continues his career with a championship club. Now, this statement came out just as it was rumoured he was going to come to us and that we were in talks in advanced stages of negotiations with him. And when they and when Southend put that statement out, we all knew that this deal was done. It was just a case of waiting for Hull City to get all his photos done, cross the T's, dot the I's, all that sort of stuff. And today, all of that was done. Hull City's statement reads... Hull City are delighted to announce the signing of exciting striker Henry Sandat on a two-year deal with the club holding the option of an extra year. Having left National League side Southend United, where he progressed through their youth system from the under-9s up to the first team, the 18-year-old will initially link up with Connor Sellers' under-21 side. Last season, Sandat made his National League debut for the Shrimpers, replacing Aaron Cosgrave in the 75th minute during a 2-0 defeat against Aldershot Town in November 2022. The Southend-born forward netted his first senior goal in his third appearance for his hometown club, taking just five minutes to score the only goal of the game in a 1-0 win over Gateshead. Sandat finished the 22-23 National League campaign with 12 appearances for the first team, five of those starts and scoring one goal. He said, I am buzzing to be here. I cannot wait to get started with the boys and I cannot wait for the new season. I just want to get my boots on, said Sandat. There are a lot of opportunities with the first team here with the pathway for young players. This is what brought me to the club and as it is brilliant. I've seen the manager's style of play and it's very unique. The way he loves to play football is the way I like to play football and I'm looking forward to this new chapter at Hull City. The step up I made from Southend's youth team to the first team last season helped me massively to shape me into the player I am today. The coaching staff at Southend have been brilliant with me and I think I've come on massively in the last six months being in and around the first team. My aim is to get to the first team here. There is only a pathway if I make a pathway, so it's all up to me. If I can get my head down and keep working hard, I can get an opportunity with the first team and I will make sure I can take it. Sounds determined and I cannot wait to see what he is all about. So 12 National League appearances, one goal last season, but what can we expect from him? I saw an article earlier which I thought was brilliant from Jack Patmore, a journalist 
Um, uh, he is the media assistant at Billericay Town and done some uh, done some reporting. And he wrote for the real EFL.co.uk about Henry Sander. Uh, what could we expect from him? So he said, having come through the ranks in the South East Essex, having come through the ranks in South East Essex, Sandak made his first team debut age 17 against Gateshead in February. He made an immediate impression, scoring five minutes into his first uh, start as the Blues secured a 1-0 win in their chase for the playoffs. In the remaining months of the campaign, Sandak continued to feature in the running, emphasising Kevin Mayer's trust in a player who remains in his early teenage years. The youngster went on to feature 11 more times after his Gateshead debut. Uh, I think he's talking about just starts there, because uh, obviously the start was against Gateshead. Alongside a striking partner on a few occasions, uh, he led the line alongside a striking partner on a few occasions. There's no doubt that Sandat is playing beyond his years and has shown why an array of football league sides have reportedly been fighting for his signature. He is a nuisance for defenders and his quick feet in and around the penalty area can cause opposing defenders problems. Last season, Sandak played a lot for the under-18 side before his breakthrough into the first team in February. He scored a number of goals in the EFL Youth Alliance Merit League 2 as he netted in games against Sutton, Stevenage and Newport County to name but a few. It may not be the highest calibre of football, but it shows that Sandat has the eye for goal, which could be crucial if he is to challenge for a first team spot at Hull City in the coming seasons. He is still very young and despite having the potential to be a success in East Yorkshire, Sandat will join the club's academy setup and progress from there. Uh, then he finishes with, but how do you think Sandat will get on with the Tigers? Hull City fans, are you excited by this potential new addition? Now, I think this is a very smart move. A very, very smart move. With the departures of people like Josh Hines and Will Jarvis going out on loan, Harry Vaughan moving up to the first team, attacking options for the under-21s, quite limited. So if we look at the 21 side just um, quickly at the moment, uh, looking attacking-wise, there was no Jake Brown the other night uh, against Ferriby for whatever reason. There's Sincere Hall, who played on the left. Raj Pallet, who played on the right. Uh, Raj is more is predominantly a more central player, though. Nathan Tinsdale is a central player, as is Jake Brown. Harry Wood can do central or wide, but he's now out on loan. Will Jarvis, central or wide, but he was with the first team and now he's out on loan. So that will leave, um, in terms of actual wide players and strikers, court, like, wide players who are you know who start as wide players and, and you know, haven't been pushed out there because there's too many bodies centrally or whatever started out with Sincere Hall it's now Sincere Hall and Jim Sims and that's shoestring but adding Sander into that mix is um, it helps the ranks out a little bit and then you know dipping into the under 18s has happened a bit recently as well so we've um, you know seen recently coming through uh, playing for the 21s at the back end of last season, people like Aidan Dirk and Stan Hewitt in attacking areas when they got their pro deals. And then for well, at the Ferriby game, Jaden Chibanga came on and there are a couple of trialists in attacking areas at, at the club at the moment still as well. There were three trialists um, against North Ferriby the other day Two of those were attacking midfield slash forward players, and the other one was a goalkeeper. Because there is only, if you you know, discount Lotta Tyler, Cartwright who's out on loan, and Dave Robson. There's only Owen Foster who is a, an official under twenty one goalkeeper. So it's a very smart addition, and it's one I think will definitely pay off. And hey, could he be the next? Harry Vaughan, he's been, got first team experience. I think Rossini were wanting to get a little bit more before he looks at him for a first team spot consistently. And of course, you know, we've got Connolly, Oscar. But we were at a stage last season where um, we had three strikers injured, plus Jim Sims injured as well. So you know, it turned out Josh Hines was getting released, so there was no point in giving him any minutes. He was out on loan as well, I believe. So... 
yeah, I think Sander is a very, very wise addition, and he's on a long contract as well. I can't believe I've made a 10-minute video out of this, but I have done, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Take care. And, yeah, Henry Sandat is a whole city player.